Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Jam Pedals Delay Llama Extreme. So, this is how you need to think of this pedal. Jam pedals have made the best analog delay pedal you can buy and essentially given it to a group of aliens to see what they make of it and make some changes. And what they gave back to jam pedals is this. Um, this thing is insane. Those aliens over at jam pedals have really added some unique, crazy, crazy inspiring features that make this pedal really stand out from the rest of them. So I'll say at the top of this video, this pedal is sponsored by Jam Pedals, but everything I'm gonna say in this video is completely true, not kind of uh, influenced by that at all. This is just a great pedal that I've really, really bonded with. So the Delay Llama has been a part of Jam Pedals lineup for a while. Um, we have the simple three knob Delay Llama, um, which just nails that juicy analog tone. Then there was the Delay Lala, Delay Lala? Delay Lama Supreme, which expanded on those features, give you a bit more modulation control and things like that. I'm not sure that's still in the product line, uh, but essentially it has been replaced by the Xtreme. Much more simple layout to the Supreme as well. We just have the three knobs, a few switches and things like that. But really, this, the amount of tones you can get out of this straight out of the box is pretty incredible. So three knobs, really, if you want to use it simply, we have uh, your time, repeats and level. And then we have a few switches here and also a few different foot switches. For switches we have a trails, um, if you want the delay trails to carry on after you turn the pedal off, a really nice feature. Just nice having that control on the front of the pedal. Usually that's the sort of thing that would be inside. I really love having it on the front here. A kill dry switch, which really works well with some of the extreme features in this pedal. And then a subdivision tip switch for your tap tempo. A preset switch, which does a few things, and your tap tempo, which is if you, if you hold, it oscillates, which I love. We have four extreme modes. Um, two of them are pretty normal and just a great addition, addition to have to an analog delay. One of them is almost musically unusable. <laughs> to be honest, but is still a lot of fun and it's good to have it in there. And then the fourth one and final, which is my favorite, is one of the most inspiring guitar tones I've heard, let alone delay, it's just amazing. So the first two, we have a modulation extreme mode, which gives you control over uh, rate and depth. Oh, by the way, this little push switch here is how you access the secondary controls. The second extreme mode, we have a tape aged mode which is a little similar to the modulation uh, mode, but it's a lot more random. I mean, you can turn up the frequency of the randomness with uh, the secondary control on that mode. Um, also, it makes the delays a little crunchier, rolls off some of the high end that's kind of not there anyway, but it does make it a little crunchier even more. Um, that's a great mode for some more effect-y sort of tones. <laughs>
extreme mode, which is the one that's a little a little hard to get behind in a way, is the random. You almost have next to no control over this mode. It's just a noise generating thing in a way. Essentially, it just randomly changes the time and the repeats and everything just to get some crazy, crazy sounds. Um, you'll hear in the demo that it's uncontrollable. I, I did manage to get it into the intro song right at the end. The last chord is with the um, random mode. And then finally, my favorite mode in the whole pedal is the pitch shift mode. This gives you control over different intervals and different rhythm patterns. And it's just awesome, really, really cool. One thing that they don't talk about so much in this pedal is that uh, in the pitch shift mode, we have a kind of sub mode called the sequence, um, sequencer essentially. And there's a sequencer built into the pitch shift mode. Um, and again, that gives you different patterns and intervals and it's a lot of fun to play with. In fact, I'd actually prefer to have that as its own independent mode to the random and have the random as like a little sub mode and the pitch shift. Anyway, that's a tiny little gripe I have with it. I just wish we could go further in depth with the sequencer. <laughs> This pedal is so inspiring. Uh, it really sets, really made uh, open my eyes to how good an, a proper analog delay can sound. It does the simple, subtle stuff that I pretty much leave on all the time, but it also does get crazy and wacky as well. Um, jam pedals are making great stuff at the moment. Build quality is superb. Pretty much everything is done in house. They look awesome. This looked great on my pedal board and it's gonna look great on my pedal board for a long time. I will say as well, we have a few ins and outs for expression pedals and tap tempo things. Still have yet to buy an expression pedal, so apologies about that. No expression in this video. We're just gonna get some straight up tones with what you get out of the box. I'm gonna play my Music Man Cutlass so we get a wide variety of tones from the guitar, straight into the pedal and then out of the pedal into the Victory V40, set it pretty clean but also cranked. Cab simulation is coming from the Boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander, set up with a 212 cab, mic'd up with a ribbon and an SM57, going straight into Logic. And that's what you're hearing as always. This is a great pedal, I hope you enjoy the tones, and let's get into it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed those tones. My final words to say on this pedal that I, from what I've tried this is the delay pedal to buy at the moment. This, Well at least if you're after an analogue delay this is the one to buy. Um, it's so, so great, so inspiring, uh, the tones are so um, in depth and the crunchy analogue delay is a lot of fun. Um, if you wanted something with maybe less features on it then I would go have a look at the standard delay llama that's probably what you are after um, my only thing that I wish it had is if we could go more in depth into the sequencer mode instead of the random the random while it's a lot of fun and interesting is not that useful in most musical sensors if you can use it then let me know I'd love to hear some music with that random mode but that's kind of my kind of final thoughts on this pedal this is definitely going on my board for the foreseeable future I'm a big delay fan and this has jumped right to the top of my list so thanks guys for checking out the video if you like what you saw please subscribe and check out some more that would be awesome if you want to support me and the channel further there's some links down below that you might want to check out such as patreon and things like that um, and yeah thanks guys and I shall see you in the next video cheers <laughs>